Hey guys, I just got back home with uh, the starter set Dragons of Stormreach Isle. And I'm going to do an unboxing here, take a look and see what's inside. If you have any further questions after you check this out, uh, leave comments below and I'll take some shots and maybe put them up on my Twitter account if uh, that happens. That's D20 Play on Twitter as well. So let's take a look. All right, got the wrapping off. We'll look inside the box here. Let's take a look at the back of the box too real quick. So here's the back of the box. It says a 48-page adventure booklet. 32 page rule book, five pre generated characters, each with character sheet, and six game dice. So let's take a look inside. All right, inside the box. Oh, that's a cool cover piece there. It looks like a blue dragon and maybe a brass dragon there. We got dice. Only one D20, though. Too bad they didn't do two D20s on the dice, but it's a starter set, so that's cool. Dragons of Stormwreck Isle here. Did I say Stormreach before? I always get that wrong. Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. Here is the adventure booklet. Then we have. Little uh, advertisement here for continuing your journey. Then we have the starter set rule book, 32 pages. It says for character levels one through three. We'll take a peek through that here. Then we have the characters. Let's see how these characters compare to the characters in the original starter set. So we got a we got a wizard who is a high elf. He's got a let's see, 16 intelligence, eight hit points. Uses a short sword. It's nice how they did the attacks here with that. Got the languages, got a spell book, space for his prepared spells, equipment here. Interesting, this is kind of a different layout than they've had before. Spell slots, spell attacks, and saving throws. Everything's kind of bolded, the main things you need, that's really handy. Talks even about ritual casting and arcane recovery there. So that's the wizard. Inside the box, we got just a basically a, a placeholder here. And now let's take a look at these guys, the rest of these characters. So here's the back of the, of the wizard's character sheet. Looks like they got pretty much all they need here for, for playing your character, even up to and including gaining levels and what happens there, and the additional changes at first, second, third level, adding spells to your spell book, second level features. Looks like they got evocation specialists there. There you go. So that's the wizard. Now, the next one we got is the rogue, a light foot halfling, criminal background, 16 dexterity, got dagger, short bow, expertise, sneak attack, thieves can't. Dish the stuff needed is in bold there. Lucky, brave, halfling, nimbleist, naturally stealthy. And then on the back, more information on the background. Going up to second and third level. Then we have the paladin. Well, that's interesting. So the, the original starter set did not include a paladin. First paladin in the starter set, I think. They got a battle axe. They got a javelin. They are human. 14 charisma, 16 strength. Noble background. Again, what, what you gain is you gain levels. Spots for tracking enemy spells, lots you use. Okay, then we got a folk hero, fighter, wood elf. Looks like a great sword, longbow. Fighting styles are archery, so they specialize in archery there. They're a wood elf, folk hero background, action surge at second level, improved critical, so it looks like they went the champion route. I think that's champion. And then lastly, a cleric, a hill dwarf. I think the cleric in the first starter set was a hill dwarf as well. Soldier background, 16 wisdom, mace and hand axe, divine domain. What's their divine domain? Life, so life cleric. And since they're a hill dwarf, they should be able to start with a war hammer. So I'm not sure why they have mace there. Then we got more racial background stuff, um, soldier background, gaining levels, second, third level, spells as you gain levels. So there's the characters. Now, save the adventure for last. Let's take a, take a look at the, uh, the rule book they have here. So they got chapters on playing the game, equipment, and spells. Lead designer Jeremy Crawford, Kate Irwin, art director, cover illustrator. Ilsa Gort. Apologize if I said that wrong. All right. I imagine the inside here is going to be very similar. Oh, they got a little barcode here for additional guidance for the Dungeon Master as well. Very similar to the original Player's Handbook. I might take some more in detail look at this here in another video. Playing the game, saving throws, just your basic uh, rules for the game, some equipment here for the game, and then some spells. They got up to second level spells, going up to third level, so that's good. And then conditions there on the back. All right, now let's look at the adventure. Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. Got Running the Adventure. Chapter 1, Dragon's Rest. Chapter 2, Seagrow Caves. Chapter 3, Cursed Shipwreck. Chapter 4, Clifftop Observatory. Some magic items, some creature stat blocks. James White, the lead designer. We got Sydney Adams, Mackenzie de Armas, and Dan Dillon as additional designers. The adventure is set in... All right, this adventure takes place on Stormwreck Isle, a small island in a region called the Sword Coast. So very close to the other original starting adventures. 
Got the adventure background, adventure outline, adventure maps. Oh, nice. Oh, here's a detailed map here of Stormwreck Isle. Off the Sword Coast, we can see the high road there. So we could zoom in on the Sword Coast and see where exactly that is in the Sword Coast. We got the encounter with the Grass Dragon. Kobolds here. Oh, nice maps. It's a map of Dragon's Rest. Very, very nice maps. Full color. That's good. Okay. Exploring the island. Then we got the Seagro Caves. More really nice maps there for the Seagro Caves. Then the Cursed Shipwreck. There you go, multiple maps and underwater encounters there for the Cursed Shipwreck. There's a little blue dragon. The characters from the original cartoon. There'll be miniatures for that uh, coming out at the same time or very soon too. That'll be neat to pick those up. I imagine they might have miniatures for the dragons themselves too. Especially made, we'll see. The Clifftop Observatory, more great maps. This looks like a really good adventure here. Blue Dragon Wormling, Dragon Spirits, and that's the end of the adventure. So this should be for character levels 1 through 3. They'll be 4th level when they finish the adventure. Magic items, including Boots of Elvenkind, Elixir of Health, Potion of Healing, Potion of Resistance, Spell Scroll, and Plus One Weapon. And then Creatures. Got the Blue Dragon. Got the Bronze. Oh, it's Bronze Dragon. Sorry. Bronze Dragon for the adventure. Fire Snake, Fume Drake. Fume Drake. I don't know if I know what source that's from. Fume Drake. Uh, Ghoul Harpy, Kobold. Myconid, of course you have to have an owlbear. Sturges, Spore of Servant Octopus, that's a pretty cool looking guy. And then Violet Fungus and Zombie. So I'd say overall, very nice starter set. Get a group of people playing D&D &D real quick. I think I'll definitely run this sometime soon. And uh, I'll post some DM tips for running it here too soon on the channel. So check back frequently and uh, have a good day. Bye.